and good morning, good evening, good afternoon traders and students all around the world this is Forex Trading Course 101 and this is FX Passion broadcasting you live on YouTube hello Akos, hello MHB <laughs> MHB, ABCD hola Zuelius, hello King hello Salbakti, hello Miguel how is everybody? <clears throat> everybody remember what we are trying to do and we are passed over the beginner and the basic module and we are starting everybody the intermediate module today so wow right and remember what we are trying to do are the three pillars pillar number one we are trying to build a strategy and or a system that is easy for you to understand and easy to obey we are trying to understand how risk management works and Fibonacci is part of this risk management and the big one, the psychology part what do champion beginner traders say? champion beginner traders say that I am not going to live and die on a trade by trade basis and this is of course a quote from a quote from Mark Douglas and remember 90% of traders still lose money in the forex market worldwide you know and the webinars are not trading or investment advice the webinars are for the educational purposes only and for homeworks or questions everyone you have my gmail contact my skype contact and my linkedin contact Akos says, I begin to trade live next week. Wow, congratulations to you, Akos. And everybody, look what a student sent me here. Let me see if I can show to you. Look what a student sent me here. I, I mean, I need to share with you this, guys. Just give me a second. I have uh, some sort of delay. Okay, now remember this, everybody. <coughs> it's nice to receive these feedbacks only after a year of watching your webinars I have internalized the understanding of market structure and see how important it is to build around the rest of the concepts I mean wow right only after a year of watching webinars the student says how it's understand how it's important to build around the rest of the concepts and if this is the rest of the thought process will be wrong if this is missing and I said I don't understand the part of thought process and the student says I meant that if one does not have the proper understanding of market structure long term and short term trends the rest of the concept will be done on a wrong thought process everyone and this student is absolutely correct and this is one we are telling you I said congratulations to the student this is why we are telling you we are passed over the basic and the beginner module everybody and this is why we are telling you if you don't understand what is happening and why and how go back to the Dukascope YouTube webinar page and start to watch the lesson starting from lesson number one what is market structure this topic is amazing I saw it past videos thank you King okay everybody so let's start Fibonacci numbers the ABCD swing and the rules okay so when we talk about the Fibonacci's <coughs> we are going to have the extension then we are going to have the retracement and then we are going to have the next extension so we're going to color code like this right and this is going to be like this one two three and this one okay and the Fibonacci swing has four letters so we're going to have the A we're going to have the letter A and then we're going to have the letter B and we are going to explain you the concepts and then we are going to have the letter letter C and then we are going to have the letter D up in here 
Okay, this is going to be the letter D. So we have the A, B, C, D. Hello, Christian. Hello, Annie. Okay, and when you draw the Fibonacci, right? So when you draw the Fibonacci, you are going to get here the. This is the Fibonacci tool. Maybe not something like this right so you can translate what is one what is the other okay so it's a b c d right okay now rules what is the a and we are going to talk today first about the uptrend okay what is the a and those are the rules everybody no negotiable rules the a the A is the first low slash absolute low slash lower lower low slash starting point of an up trend up trend okay this is the a it depends what you are going to analyze but the a is the first low or is the absolute low or is the lower low or maybe i say lowest low right lowest not lower just lowest low and it's a starting point <clears throat> starting point of an uptrend Namaste Patak, how are you? Please friends don't forget to put like on the video Thank you Victor, we always like the thumb up Thank you Stoin, that is why experience is so valuable Time to shine, hello sir, how are you? Okay, so this is the A, right? And I am on Euro JPY monthly chart. Now, what what would be the A? What would be the A? Remember, we are talking about the uptrend. So, what would be the A? Would be the A the first circle? Would be the A the second circle? Or would be the A the third circle? Everyone, what do you think? If the A is the first low or it's the absolute low or it's the lowest low and if even if you choose first low absolute low or the lowest low it's a starting point of an uptrend right which one is the a everybody is the first circle is the second circle which one is the a based on this criteria what do you think? The first circle, the second circle, or the third? Which one is the A, everybody? What do you think? And remember, I have a 20 seconds delay on the chat. First, first one, first one. Salbakti, first one. Okay. First one. Anybody else saying the second one and the third one? Dennis one, Salbakti one, anyone, anybody else? Victor one, anybody else it says, oh, it's the two, it's the three? Akos says one. Okay, everybody, great. Is the number two also an A? What would you say, everybody? All of you are half correct, half right. Yes, number one is an A. What about number two? Is number two an A? What would you say? So number one, yes. Number one, it's an A. Great. 
What about number two? Is number two an A? Christian, King, Salbakti, Dennis, Any, Victor, Akos, Time to Shine. What is the number two? Is number two an A? King, calm your horses, man. Slow down. We are not there yet. Christian says no, why not? MHB, no, why not? Why not? If it's the same time frame, yes sir. Hello VA. Second is the C. Calm down MHB, you are with King. We are talking about the A first. Look at the rule. The A is the first low and it's a starting point of an uptrend. The A is the absolute low and it's a starting point of an uptrend or the A is the lowest low and it's a starting point of an uptrend. Victor, yes all of them. No, <laughs> not all of them. Second is not an absolute low. It doesn't need to be an absolute low. Look at the rule. The A is the first low or an absolute low or a lowest low and it's a starting point of an uptrend. Only after the breaks the first FIBO. No ma'am, not true. Not true everybody. It depends what story are you trading and analyzing. Okay, and you see the chart right now. Two is a C. We are not there yet. We are talking about the A first. Everybody. Is number two an A? Am I breaking any rules if I put my A on number two? Am I breaking any rules if I put the A at number two? Look at the rule. The A is the first low or absolute low or the lowest low and it's a starting point of an uptrend. Everyone, <clears throat> only one is the absolute low in this time frame, so there are no absolute lows. Christian again, number one, it's an A, but the A does not need to be just the first low. The A can be an absolute low, or an A can be a lowest low, and it's going to be a starting point of an uptrend. Okay, everybody, let's help you, all right? Is the number two, again, is the number two an absolute, absolute, abs, absolute low? Is number is the number two a first low? Okay, is the number two an absolute low in an uptrend? Maybe like this in an uptrend. In a, is the number two a first low in an uptrend? Or is the number two the lowest low in an uptrend? Okay, so if you say no, 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 then the number two is not an A. Victor one and two, yes, sir. One is the lowest low. Yes, sir. What about the two? Is the number two an absolute low in an uptrend? 
is the number two a first low in an uptrend remember guys I told you right that the lessons are going to get more and more and more complex if you didn't learn the basic module right right so high to low high to low to high to low to high to low high low high low oh <laughs> right oh now i see Oh, now I understand, right? Don't mix the stories, everybody. Is the number two a first low in an uptrend? Two could be the lowest low in a new story uptrend. Yes, sir. Krishna say yes. First low in uptrend. Is it the first low? Yes, yes. So, as you can see everybody, now you, everybody, do you understand why we have difficulties after three years of trainings, why we have difficulties? Because we didn't learn market structure, highs and lows and the short term trend. We didn't learn about the stories. We are mixing apples with bananas still. We think that is just an absolute low, yes, but what the other uptrends, downtrends and everything, right? Now you can see, right? Oh, the, no, ah, yes, now it's clear. It depends, everybody, what are you analyzing, right? But if I put my A at number two, I am not breaking any rules. Now, last question, why number three is not an A? Why number three is not an A, everybody? What would you say? Why number three is not an A? Why number three is not an A? Why number three is not an A? Why would this, what would you say? You have A at point number one, circle number one, and you have point number two is also an A. Now, why number three is not an A? And this is the rule. The A is the first low, or it's an absolute low of, a, of an uptrend, maybe it's a first low of an uptrend, it's an absolute low of an uptrend, it's a lowest low of an uptrend, and it could be also be a starting point of an uptrend. Why number three is not an A? It's not a first low of the uptrend, why not? Because it's a no, not a lower low, why not? Not a trend yet. Yes and no. Yes and no. Is number three a low? Dennis, it's not a low. Oh, yes, congratulations. Dennis, Dennis got the answer, everybody. This is not a low yet. Yes, it's not a trend also, but the reason why number three is not an A, everybody, is because it's not a low yet. We need one more candle on the right. It might be on the small time frames. Yes, you're right, but we are not on the small time frames. So number three is not an A because it's not a low. Okay, so... Great. Delete, 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 delete. Delete, 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 delete. This is the A for this example. 
Everybody, any questions so far before we move on the B? Any questions? Three is still not in an uptrend, is still in a downtrend. Not the reason. Number three is not a low yet. Okay, rule for the B. So this is going to be our A. A clone. There you go, this is our A. Just an example. Number I mean not the number but B. What is the B? The the B is the first high as soon as possible after the A. After the A. This is the B. The B is the first high as soon as possible after the A. So if we are starting with the f this A here, right? Now, what is the B? Is the is the first circle? The B is the second circle. The B. So first circle, second circle and one and the third one everybody and let's put this down in here for you to see okay so this is the A the B is the first high as soon as possible after the A so which one is the B is the number one is the first circle the B is the second circle or is the third? What would you say everybody? Which one is the B? Zuel is number two, time to shine number two. Everybody else? Anybody else? Which one is the Zuelius three, not two. Second, second is not a high. Why not? Why the second is not a high? Passion, I don't see the chart. Okay, let's zoom in. Okay, which one is the B? Number one number two or number three Zuelio says second is not a high why not number one is not a high so number two number two number two second two Zuelius what about you everybody say number two you are saying not number two who is right Patak number two Yes, everybody, number two is the correct answer. This is the first high as soon as possible because number two is a high, right? So, yes, number two is the B. So, we have the A clone. Number two is our B. This is going to be our B. Number one out, number two. So this is going to be our B, right? Okay, number three out. So we have the A and we have the B. Okay, now when we have the A and when we have the B, what we are going to do? We are going to draw two horizontal lines like this two horizontal lines like this and one is going to go on the A and one is going to go on the B Zuel is number three no sir number two is the first high as soon as possible 
after the A is formed. Hello Vincent, how are you? How is trading going Vincent? Vincent, do you need any help? How is your trading? Now, what about the C everybody? What is the C? And this is a rule. The C is the lowest point, not necessary two C's, not necessary allow inside the A B boundary everybody ok I'm going to delete this one for this time take a screenshot of this or make a picture with your cell phone and print it out and print it out everybody and glue it near your screen make a picture of yourself with your cell phone or print screen or whatever D A B C D there you go the A is the first low or the absolute low or the lowest low or a starting point of an uptrend the B is the first high as soon as possible after the A but you have a high we need the low on the third yes it does well yes I'm going to show in just a second and the C is the lowest point not necessary a low inside the AB boundary okay so if this is my A oh I almost forgot I almost forgot there is one more piece of information boundary before the market hits the appropriate the extension okay sorry about that one more time take a screenshot or take a screen print or a picture with your cell phone and print this and glue it near your computer still working with the strategy great the C is the lowest point not necessary a low inside the AB boundary before the market hits the appropriate D extension we are going to talk about the D next okay so until now we have the A to B we have the A to be this is one a to be something like this right and now we have the horizontal lines right now which one is the C everyone is the C the first circle is the C the second circle is the C the third is maybe the C the fourth circle which one do you think is the C? I think you are going to throw a pen this week woohoo! again! <laughs> again I'm going to throw the pen on my desk ok no problem the C is the lowest point not necessarily a low inside the AB boundary before the market hits the appropriate extension so which one is the lowest low is this the lowest point is the second circle the lowest point is the third circle the lowest point or is the fourth circle number one two three or four everyone number two 
Number two, number two, number two, great. Not that difficult, right? Nothing special, great. We are clear on this. Everybody, what if, it's just an example, what if I have a bearish candle like here and I put a new circle? Which one is now? What if I have a bearish candle like this? Which one is the C? Is still the number 2 or is the new circle? What do you think? The second What if I have, so we, we, we gave the name, right? So we have the second circle, which is the C, and I'm saying, okay, what if, just for this example, what if, so I'm going to delete this one, this one, this one. What if I have the new circle here? Let's call this new. Which one is the C? It's number two the C or it's the new circle, the C. The one you just drew now is the new C, new, new circle. Okay, great, so congratulations everybody, you got this. Nothing special, right? So, okay, great, A, B, clone, and we have our C, right? This is our C. Perfect, now let's talk about the D. A, B, C, D. How is the song going? A, B, C, D. Tomorrow morning I will brush the T. Something like this, right? A, B, C. Now what is the D? A, B, C, D. The changing the D is the the D is the extension, is the extension relevant to the C retracement, retracement and the D must, must be a high. Okay, the D is the extension relevant to the C retracement and the D must be a high. It must be ahead of B, yes sir, the new one after the B, yes ma'am, not necessary low, yes sound today is excellent. Oh, thank you. I did anything new as well, yes. I think it's the software, you know. I didn't touch, I mean. Okay, so A, B, C, D, right? Okay, now let's put this down. Now let's, let's leave it here and we're going to open a new chart. New chart. Okay. So we are going to have A and B. Something like this. This is the A down here. And this is the B up in here and now we are going to spread the Fibonacci retracement tool and like this so this is the A and this is the B right here and we are going to use the original Fibonacci original this is going to be like this and this is going to be like this and we're going to do one save okay agree with Zuelis okay great so we have the A and the B now we have the C and the D right so we're going to have the C and we're going to have the D and the D is an extension relevant to the C retracement okay everybody so Different charting softwares are going to have different numbers in here. 
okay so just check your software and let's see if the first retracement is 618 or it's 382 or it's 50 you know so what do we have here on the scale of the Fibonacci we have the retracements and we have the extension so everything inside the AB boundary everybody everything inside the AB boundary it's called a uh, retracement okay Re retracement everything that is going to happen inside the AB boundary it's a retracement so here is where the C is going to be and everything what is going to happen outside the AB boundary it's what it's called the extension and this is where the D is going to be so this is going to be the extension extension okay now remember the D is must be a high and it's a relevant extension it's an extension relevant to the retracement so those two are connected okay now you don't need to you don't need to learn the numbers everyone what you need to remember are the colors okay and another rule is that it's a rule you must remember and learn if you are going to use the Fibonacci if the if the market hits the green and above and above and above and below without touching the blue the market must go to the green extension so if the market hits the green it's the green retracements retracements plural okay how can we do this okay I'm going to delete this one and okay so those are the retracements what everything that happens inside the AB boundary it's a retracement what happens outside is the extension so this is the rule if the market hits the green retracements meaning the 618 the 50 the 382 and above and below without touching everybody without touching the blue because this is a new retracement new color then the market must go to the green extension passion can you read it again yes sir if the market hits the green retracements and above and below the green retracements still inside the AB boundary without touching the blue the market must go to the green extension okay so uh, let me see if I can put okay great we can do this okay so when we are in the uptrend right and the market is making higher highs higher lows or whatever and we have the AB boundary and then the market starts to retrace right so if the market is in here and now now you're going to understand everybody why if you don't why if you didn't learn structure you are going to have difficult times with Fibonacci So what if we have here the retracement, extension retracement and then we are starting the next extension and this is our C by the rule on the right. Where is our D going to be? Is our D going to be at the green? Is our D going to be at the blue? or uh, is our green going to be at the red one color what do you think 
which one is going to be our D? Yeah, it's not. Okay, I'm going to go back like this better. Okay, so if the yellow one is the first extension and the red one is the retracement and the market just changed the short term trend we have the C because the C is the lowest point between the AB boundary which one is going to be the D? Is our D extension go going to be at the red color? Is our D extension going to be at the blue color? Or is, it, or is our D extension going to be at the green? Green, right? Nothing special, right? If the market hits the green retracements and above or below without touching the blue, then the market must go to the green. Great. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to delete, 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 okay, great, so we are going to do just straight lines, alright, if not it's going to be too pulled, so here goes to green, what if the market retraces to the 618 everybody, where is going to be the D extension? by the rule the same question applies so the market retrace the market retraced lower and hit the 618 retracement so where is the D this was the first one the market didn't hit any of the retracement just reversed so the projected D extension is going to be the green what about the second one the market hit the 618 C is not hitting green retracement, it does need... Ah, okay, understand, okay. The students are on point, teacher. What do you mean, King? The students are on point. Green, green, green. Yes, sir. Again, nothing special, right? Green. What if the market hits and breaks the 5-0? Green. What if the market hits the 3A2? Green goes to green. Yes, sir. So, as you can see, everybody, the deeper the C, the higher the D, right? Until we have one more. So, what about this one? The market is, everybody, this is tricky. What about this one? The market is between the blue and the green where is going to be the D extension the market retraced the market retraced in between the it didn't touch the blue it break the green didn't touch the blue where is the extension yes sir green green again right green again correct okay I need to change the color there you go green again okay next what if the market hits the blue what if the market touches the blue one where is the the extension this is our C, the market retraced further, touched the blue, just touched, don't need to break, touch the blue, we are at the same peak level, touch the blue, where is the property extension right now? The market is over the green 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 it touched the blue aqua says blue anybody else blue correct nothing special right 
green goes to green, blue goes to blue and okay but what if so this is the blue right what if the market breaks the blue and it didn't hit the red yet so we are even deeper what about now the market broke the blue the market broke the blue but it didn't touch the red yet what about now is still the blue or it is the red green no no only green goes to green what is with and below the blue goes to blue yes sir again goes again to the blue to change the color in the extension everybody the market must to change the color in the extension the market must touch okay so the last one the market is going to hit the red this time right so red like this and we're going to change color so green goes to green green goes to green green goes to green two more green goes to green and one more green goes to green there you go green goes to green what about now the market touched the the red one the market touched the red one correct red goes to red right okay and the last one everybody if the market touches the A this is going to be the black if the market goes to zero the appropriate the extension is the 100 the 100 if the market grows to zero the property extension is the 100 so green goes to green blue goes to blue red goes to red and black goes to black and if the market breaks the A our Fibonacci is not valid anymore when the market breaks the A our Fibonacci is not valid anymore and we need to reverse reverse the Fibonacci what's the time okay seven more minutes need to reverse the Fibonacci okay now take this take this picture take a this take a screenshot of this or black to black yes take a screenshot take a picture with your cell phone print it out glue it next to your computer those are those are the relationships i'm going to give it I'm, it's just for you to understand i'm going to make it clearer but those are the relationships between the c retracement and the d extension type in chat done when you when you when you are done with taking the photos or the screenshot please type in the chat done so I can move further green goes to green, blue what difference between a break and touching the A? great question time to shine if the market touches the A 
then black goes to black, zero goes to 100 but if the market breaks the A then you need to reverse the Fibonacci ok time to shine the ma if the market just touches the A the Fibonacci is still valid it doesn't happen a lot of time but it happens time to time ok Akos is done, great so I'm going to give you I'm going to this is just for you to understand how the retracement works so but we can make it color coded you know so background color white okay so where are we until here this is going to be green from here to here remember it must not touch from here to here is going to be is going to be blue okay from here to here is going to be red and the last mini quadrant if you want just small one is going to be black okay green goes to green blue goes to blue so we can move it in here for you to understand those are the retracements okay and clone green goes to green clone blue blue goes to blue and clone red goes to red right this is the red one and those are extensions the extensions okay this is not so polluted change direction done thanks any questions so far everybody any questions those are the retracements extension retracement right okay great now one last thing for today if I enter the market if I enter the market in here edit label if I enter the market in here because I have a counter trend line break right where is going to be my take profit? At what color? Take profit equals to question mark. If I enter it in here, circle, because I have a counter trend line break, my retracement just ended. And I can see this happening because I have a change in the short term trend. When is my take profit going to be? We didn't see an example today. Green, great. Don't cry, Salbakht. I'm going to show you the example. Green, right? And let's say that you are in a trade everybody you are correct green right and what if the market pushes lower and gets into in here and you are in a trade when is going to be your new take profit 
green, 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 green. Yes, everybody, you're correct. But what if the market retraces lower, deeper inside the AB boundary? Where is going to be your new take profit? No, King, we're going to have webinars every day, most likely. But th there are some weeks that I have other stuff to do, you know. Next webinar is tomorrow, I believe. No, I'm not sure. You need to check the Dukas Copy YouTube webinar page. Blue Patak, it's blue. The market entered. Look what look where the market retraced. It went till the blue. Blue, blue, blue. Yes, sir. Okay, everybody, let's make Salbakti happy. We don't. So this is the AB, right? We have. We are on the Euro JPY monthly chart. Fibonacci tool. A, B, C. Okay. So our projected the extension is green. Projected the extension. It's up in here. A, B, C and clone. Projected the extension is here. A, B, C, D. Are you happy, Salbakti, now? We have A to B, B to C, and C to D. This is our projected D extension. Don't worry everybody, we are going to spend about two whole months 